On very rare occasions, Reaper will sometimes crash when you go to open it. Usually it happens right after you've loaded a plugin. A plugin will get loaded, Reaper will crash, and it won't you won't be able to start it up again. I'm experiencing this right now. Reaper goes to open. I have my project. I click cancel to just load the project. It crashes immediately. One thing that may happen and what we're going to try and work with today is we're going to look for any initialization files that Reaper uses upon startup. We're going to see if any of them have been updated. Sometimes you can rename or just temporarily remove the INI file, INI file. Reaper will just recreate that file and remove, hopefully, that bad plugin. The first thing you need to figure out is where is the, the Reaper resource files stored? And luckily, if we just search for Mac Reaper resource path, you'll actually get the name of the path where all of Reaper's configuration files are stored. So one of the ways that we can try and get to that directory is through Finder. So if we come over to our Finder window, and you'll probably open up in your home directory, your documents directory, or somewhere like that, you can click Go, and you should have the Library option in the menu. In the Library folder that appears, look for the option that says Application Support, twirl that down, find Reaper from the list, twirl Reaper down, and we're going to look for any files with the .ini extension. That means uh, initialization file. These are files that Reaper will use to load all of its settings. And hopefully, we should see one that changed today. It could be reaper.ini, or it could be any of the other files, any of the other files that it uses to open up. So make sure that you have the date modified column view which you can also go to View, Show View Options in Finder, and make sure that the Date Modified is selected. And we're going to look for any file that's been modified, hopefully today. So in my Reaper, I see that Reaper.ini was changed today, Reaper MIDI, Reaper Registration Info, I think, Recent Effects, I added effect, that might be an issue. Window position and hardware out effects. All of these were ones that changed for me today. The one that I've been having a crash all afternoon. So this one that crashed at 114, that sort of coincides with the one with the, with the uh, time that I started to experience this Reaper crash. If you rename this file, so I'm going to rename that hardware outfix. I was adding a monitoring effect to Reaper. So this would make sense, hardware out effects. I'm going to right click on that file name and I'm just going to rename it. And I'm going to change that to from Reaper HW out effects. I'm just going to add a dash bad in all caps. Now, when we open up Reaper, Fingers crossed. We can see how it's re renaming files, re-updating files. It prompts me to save. I'm going to click cancel. And it opened up. Thank goodness. So to, to confirm that that was the case, if I come back to my hardware out effects dash bad and rename it, let's close Reaper. And I take that dot dash bad out and I start Reaper again and click cancel, crashes, crashes immediately. So that was my corrupt file. So in this case, I'm just going to rename that out to hardware out FX. I'm just going to put the dash bad, restart Reaper. And we're good to go. So look for those INI files. And those could be the issue that is the that contains whatever the corruption is in the application. You can do that with almost all of it. As far as I know, all of the INI files, what you're essentially doing is you're deleting that file. And when Reaper can't find it, 
It's just making a new version of that file without whatever configuration you had done in that file. So even if it was all of Reaper, we could change reaper.ini to bad. And then when we open up Reaper again, it will just recreate a new Reaper INI and it will recreate Reaper just right from the start. And it will take away all of the configurations. So you can go through the configuration and go through and start everything from scratch. And you can see it's loading up all of the defaults for Reaper. We'll close that. We'll go back to that Reaper.ini. We're going to move that one to the trash. That was the one that Reaper just created. I'll come back to that Reaper bad INI and I'm going to change it back to Reaper. And now if I open up Reaper again, it should hopefully, fingers crossed, reload with all of my particular configuration settings, such as saving a new project on load, having all of my configurations all set up. So that's one, one thing to look at, especially on a Mac. If your Mac is, if Reaper is crashing on your Mac, go into the Reaper resource directory and look for any INI files that updated today and start to rename those, move them out, change them so that Reaper can't find them and we'll recreate them on load and hopefully get rid of the issue. Hope that helps.